this effect would be for appearing text. If you want a title or something to appear, this is one way of doing it. I like to take my text, crumple it up into a ball. Before I put it on there though, I need a couple of frames of buffer. And now I put it there in the middle. That's my paper with the title on it. But if I want it to start out a little smaller, I can take a blank piece of paper, and put it in there. It's smaller. And then I'm going to take two frames. I like the uh, special effects like this, the appearing to go a little bit quicker. So I do two frames instead of three. Then I can replace. And you notice there on the left it has the ghost image. So I can replace the smaller ball with the larger ball. Take two frames. Open the ball up a little bit. Take two more frames. And just keep doing that replacing it right back on top of the previous one each time. I start showing a little bit of the text. Smooth it out as best I can. Now for people to be able to read the text, it has to stay longer. My rule of thumb is it should be there for about 15 to 20 frames, depending on how much text there is. So I will just add a bunch of frames. Now, if you notice, it's a little bit hard to read because it's in pencil. I did that on purpose to show that Using pencil, not a good idea. This should be a bold, nice, dark, contrasting color. So a black Sharpie would be good. So I'm going to do that right now. And as you can see, it's much easier to read. So once we've done that and we want to make it disappear now, I just do it in reverse. So we have the our text there. You could make it just move off, slide up or down or to the left or to the right. That's one way of doing it. The other way is to just start crinkling again. When I get it as compact as I can, so it's about the size that it started, if I want to then make it disappear again and get smaller, I can replace that with the smaller one that I had to begin with. And then I can even tear off a little bit of that one to make it get smaller. So each time I take it and just tear about half of it off, Put it back, and then finally do about seven or eight frames without it before you start the action. This is what the final animation would look like.